Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday devotional time. I want to read to you a psalm that really has come to mean a lot to me, and I hope it is to you. It's Psalm 150, the very last of the psalms, and it's called Praise for God's Surpassing Greatness. There's only six verses in the psalm, so listen to the Word of God with, the, uh, with Psalm 150. Verse 1, Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty firmament. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with a tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Praise Him with loud crashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and for many of us, we'll stop and pause and have a meal with our families. But I was also thinking about, I know our custom is that before we eat a meal, we always stop and pray. Many times when I'm out, you know, we haven't been out at a restaurant lately, but when we would gather, Cindy, Sarah, and I at a restaurant or other family members or even friends, we always stop and just thank God for the goodness and the grace, the love he has given us and the food that he has before us. And what I've noticed lately is more and more people seem not to be praying, especially out, whether it's just that they've gotten out of the habit or they're embarrassed or what, I don't know. But what I've noticed is that when, when I pray or someone in our group prays, someone will come over, either a waiter or a waitress, or someone in, in the restaurant will come over and say, thank you for allowing us to see you pray because it meant a lot to us. This Thanksgiving day, before you partake of your meal, just stop and pray a prayer to God and thank him for his bounty. Thank you him for his goodness. Thank you. Thank him for everything that he has given you, for allowing us to live in the greatest country in the world. And thank God for your family and friends around you. And what a blessing. Even in the midst of the pandemic, we can, we can continue to praise God and thank God for all the bounty that he has given us. So I'm challenging you this day that tomorrow, when you gather your family and friends, bow your heads and pray a prayer. Will you join me in prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I will see you tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. God bless you all.